<laughs> All right. Um, how should I start this video out? That's my new YouTube name. Get the booty nine thousand. Get the butt. You gotta say butt. Get, get the butt. Get the butt with one T. Get, get the butt. I look like a raccoon. My eyes are blacked out. It's kind of weird because it looks like a pair of shadow glasses put right on my face. All right, what's up, y'all? So today I'm at my boy Remy's house. He has allowed me to come over and use his camera so I can record my camera to tell y'all how cameras work and how my camera specifically works. And if y'all are thinking about getting a camera, this would be a pretty good breakdown of just like a good middle of the road camera to use. So everybody, thank Mr. Mr. Remy Ma. Can you even see? Yeah, bang, Remy Ma right over there with the uh, with the whole setup, looking like a swag lord. No. All right. Oh my goodness. So, uh, kind of a paradox, I'm gonna record my camera with a camera and I'm gonna show you all the parts of the camera that you use for certain things and just like how a camera is set up and what you use a camera for because some people might not know what you can use a camera for. So, let's get into it. So we're gonna start off with the most basic part of the camera. We're gonna start off with the lens, which is right here. So the lens is a separate part to the camera. Usually when you buy the camera, you buy the body and you don't get the lens included. You have to buy the lens separately. Uh, most lenses are autofocus, which means that when you push the button, it'll focus in on its own because it has a stabilizer. Wow. It has a stabilizer, which you can activate down here. And the stabilizer is what stabilizes the rings in it so that way it'll turn to focus. And it has an autofocus button, which is what causes the motor in it to stabilize and twist everything around to where it'll focus. Is it locked? No. So the motor is what causes it to go out, and then right here is where it would where it would focus in. So the optical stabilizer is what zooms that out with the motor incorporated in the autofocus mode, and then that is what focuses it focuses it focuses it in. If you have autofocus turned on, you cannot move that because it's locked in place by the motor. If you have the autofocus turned off and it's set to manual, you can now focus it yourself. Now on the lens, you notice that there are little itty bitty buttons right there. Did I turn the manual off? Okay, no. There's little itty bitty numbers right there and those numbers just show you the degree of the focus on it in feet and in meters. So that's the top number is feet, the bottom number is meters. And you can see that that is how close, that's the focus on it. So that one's at feet, it's at a 1 16th, and then in meters, it's a 0.35 measurement. And then right here, uh, you can't see it, but these numbers right here actually tell you how much you're focusing in, like how much the zoom is focusing in on the macro portion of the lens. So that's basically meant for people who, like me, don't really know how the numbers work and how to like tell the numbers apart from anything else on it. So it does all the work for you. So you don't even really have to worry about that. You just have to worry about the zoom level and then pushing the button and the optic stabilizer as well as the autofocus motor will do all the rest of the work for you. But for those of you guys that know it really well, you'll know that all of the things in it actually help equate to a better picture and a better zoom practice. So I'm going to pop the lens off. And you can see inside of the camera, that's funny because inside of the camera is a mirror so that mirror is just shooting up it, anyways so what i have is a dslr which is a mirrored camera and you can see inside actually i'm not even sure if the yeah you can sort of see inside so inside of it if you when you take the picture there's a mirror and that mirror shoots the image up to the viewfinder right there and that's how you can see what the lens has and what the lens is showing you and then all of that is incorporated through the lens so you can see up and then you just see it right here on the screen right there on the screen is how you would see like all the extra stuff and that's like basically just shows you um the iso the white balance all that other stuff on the camera and that just allows you to have a better view of what you're doing whereas back in the good old days they just kind of had to guess what the iso and the white balance was by taking a picture of a white piece of paper Right here on the top we have the dial and this dial is just, I mean it just gives you different like ways to take pictures. So right now it's set to no flash because that's the way I prefer to take my pictures. That one is an auto flash and then that's a scene where you can set up a type of scene that you'll have. These are preset options, the PS, A and M 
are all preset options. M is the manual, A is the auto settings, and then I think P is a professional, and I forget what the S stands for. But those are all just preset settings that you can actually preset yourself, and they come preset on the camera when you buy it. And then there's effects, and that's just different effects that you can have whenever you're taking a picture. Right here, right there, that's a little lever that takes the, uh, the view from the viewfinder to the screen itself. And that's all done digitally in the camera's system. So the camera's integrated system, it just takes all the, everything that it collects into the lens, it just shuts that mirror off and takes it straight to the screen. And then that's how you would take your picture. That's the on and the off switch. And then that's the button to record video. So this is my camera and this is, I mean, what I use for everything. I use it for pictures, I use it for video. Um, and it's a really good middle of the road camera. I have the Nikon D5600. In my opinion, this is the camera that every beginner should get. You get this camera because it takes pretty good pictures. I think it has a 21 megapixel um, picture range. And actually, I think it's higher than that. I think 21 is about the highest that I go because I don't really need anything that extravagant. And then for video, it does a good 720p, which I also think is decent enough. I mean, not many people are looking up YouTube videos and watching them in 1080p or 4K. I mean, there's really no reason to. Most people don't even have a screen big enough to fit it because they just watch it on laptop or phone anyways. So, I mean, it does 720p for video. It can get up to 1080p, but it runs a little slow and it takes up a lot of memory inside of the uh, camera. And then it can do really good pictures with like 21 megapixels and even a little bit higher than that, I think. So it's a good middle of the road camera. It's a good camera for people to get if they have never had a camera before because it's pretty simple to get used to. And it's really easy to just navigate your way through because all the options are right in front of you. You don't have to go searching. You don't have to tap on other buttons. And every button is basically labeled, telling you what it does and doesn't do. And any of the buttons that you don't know what they do, they're not actually essential to taking good pictures or videos. So if you never touch any of those other buttons ever, you're not really missing out on anything. You won't know what they do or don't do, and they won't hinder you from taking pictures or videos. So that's my camera. I need a bottle of water. Um, that's that's like this is like the first video I've shot in where I haven't talked about anime or anything. This is just me talking about my camera. Uh, I'm trying to venture out in other areas. I'm gonna try to start doing some things where I show you guys how to set up a scene, how to film a scene, how to um, get your camera set up for certain types of pictures. Stuff like that. I'm, I'm trying to venture out from other things in anime. Yeah, so if y'all like the video, just drop a like, let me know. Um, if this was informative for you, just tell me it was informative for you. If I messed something up and you know way more about cameras than I do, please tell me that I messed something up. Put it down in the comments because I don't learn if you don't tell me. If you know something and I don't know it and I didn't mention it or I got it wrong talking about the camera, tell me that I'm wrong and I'll make a revision or I'll just make another video where I flex my new found knowledge on it. I don't claim to know everything. I just claim to know a lot about a little. No, I claim to know a little about a lot. There we go. So that's it. Hope y'all enjoyed. Come back next week. Got another video. Who knows what it'll be about? I'm switching it up. That's it for me, y'all. I'm out. How do I go out? Do I just, am I just going to just bang mug the camera? That, I'm out. Tryna be nice, tryna be nice, baby you nice, but it ain't right, it ain't gon' work, I ain't gon' fight. Hey. Tryna be nice, tryna be nice, take no chance, I'm holding my dice. I'm not cold, but I'm sipping on ice. Hey. It's gon' be all cool, I do not want you, I just don't wanna be rude. You ask, do I think you cute? You so sweet like fruit, but I don't think that's true